Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys, my name is Ardil and today's video is another behind the sound video on the Batmobile, the Lamborghini Aventador S that we're working on. Today we're talking about stripping out the car, what's actually involved in that and give you guys a little bit of an up to of where we're up to. If you are new to our channel and haven't seen us before, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and remember guys, we've got a massive competition running at the moment on our channel, link for that is in the description below. So make sure you go check that out, but let's get cracking on today's video. So we've now removed the actual tub from the front of the Aventador, which is actually quite a big task in itself. To remove this tub to access the battery, you actually have to remove the actual bonnet completely. But the reason why we're actually removing the tub on this occasion is because we're running cables through factory positions all the way through to this area. Not only to pick up feeds for the actual battery for the positive side of our power for our actual amplification side of things, but also to run speaker cables like high grade connections wiring through the whole vehicle running directly from the amplifier which is the Audison 5.1k which will run directly to the Audison thesis speakers in the front as well as the Hertz Mille Legend 8 inch sub that we've got going between the seats so it's very important that everything is done to the highest possible standard so everything is run alongside manufacturer wiring you've got braided cable alongside again to match manufacturer spec on wiring looms and then this will all be going into the front tub area to actually hook up to the amplification setup that will run a fully active sound system, this Batmobile is gonna absolutely rock. To start with on any system, stripping the car down, getting it ready, getting it prepped for the new sound system going is a very important vital part. So on these event doors, we start off with the doors, removing the door card, going through and checking all key areas inside the door, prepping it ready for the soundproofing treatment as well as the new speaker configuration that's gonna be going into the vehicle. So this vehicle came in with the actual Sensinum sound system, which is the upgraded system from Lamborghini. This is actually the factory speaker that sits inside the door. This is now going away. We are replacing it and upgrading that to the Audison Thesis speaker. Reason is because of the quality of mid bass that it can perform, but also just the level of difference in actual sound output that you get from, for instance, an Audison Thesis speaker, well over and beyond actually the Sensinum sound system or any factory system. We would battle any factory system upgraded or non-upgraded to match Audison Thesis level. It's just never gonna happen. Audison Thesis will always come on above. So we actually do a full sound off series that actually focuses on the difference between, for instance, on this vehicle, the Sensinum system above and beyond what we're actually putting into the actual vehicle, which is the Audison Thesis sack. This speaker is gonna be sitting in a stock location inside the door. You're not gonna see it at all. It's gonna be hidden behind the Sensinum grill. However, the custom Aplers that we'll be building later on, housing the Audison Thesis tweeters, they will be on axis moving away from that stock location, but there'll be a full video live on that when we talk about because it's a very important part of getting the system exactly how we need it. So that's not only the speakers that are going to be changing but soundproofing the door is an important part but there's a hell of a lot more to strip down on the vehicle and we've got a lot more to show you in today's video. So you may have noticed guys we're missing a dashboard the reason for that is is because we're running speaker cables alongside manufacturer wiring all to make it neat behind the scenes but also you actually need to do this to remove the a pillars safely and properly to build custom a pillars on the vehicle it is a task and it looks very scary the car will of course go back together better than it was even put together by lamborghini because of how we put everything back together in terms of soundproofing we'll not only be soundproofing behind this dashboard we'll We'll also be securing all the clips when that clips back in so we've got zero rattles we've got zero resonations and it will sound absolutely insane these are for the custom a pillars and the reason why we're highlighting this to you guys is because these cars are tricky to work on however as you guys know if you've watched our channel before we do a hell of a lot of lamborghini upgrades and a lot of them do feature this dashboard removal to be able to actually access everything alongside how we do when the manufacturer is specking a system when they're building a vehicle the wiring is behind the dashboard so the dashboard is like a beauty panel that sits on top the wiring all of that sort of stuff needs to be behind there that's exactly the same philosophy we have with our work to run a cable rather than cutting corners removing the dashboard now we've done it so so many times is a more of an easy task for us but it's a very important thing and part of a system that we run cables alongside manufacturer wiring for not only neatness but also soundproofing side of things making sure everything is taped and loomed together to build a far better acoustic environment for that sound system to work in 
So soundproofing is obviously a very key essential part of actually getting a system sounding how it should do. Obviously from manufacturer, what they call soundproofing is this lining here, which basically doesn't do much other than a little bit of thermal insulation. So what we do is still use that as thermal insulation, but what we actually use is the skin's three mil layer. So this is a bit bigger than an A4 sheet. I mean, this is a whole sheet here. This gets applied and manipulated and cut to actually go in key areas all over the vehicle. So on this vehicle, the way we spec this during the audio consultation is we went through, we spec the back panel, we spec the floor, we spec behind the dashboard, as well as two mil liner inside the door. The reason why we're using three mil liner elsewhere in the vehicle and a two mil liner in the door is mostly because of the actual struts and the design of these Lamborghini Aventador doors. Obviously, you look at the way the door is designed, it goes up. We need to be able to still retain that functionality. So weight is a very, very important part of adding in soundproofing, but also getting maximum coverage across that large panel work to build a better environment for the speaker system to work in. So once that is, we use a two mil liner to basically go across all over the door pan and get more coverage. However, less weight going into doors to still retain the functionality of that door going up. Inside the door, which we'll touch upon later on in other videos, but I wanted to briefly mention it in today's video because it's an important part of the system. On these Lamborghini Aventadors, what we actually do is put one of these in behind the speaker itself in the mid base. Reason why we use a Skins Wave Diffuser is actually designed in the fact of the way that it reduces back waves, which gives a far more punchy mid base in the vehicle. So they perform really, really well when they're actually mounted inside the door. But we've also got that sub going between the seats, which is going to give a massive kick in base live directly into the cabin but overall it's going to be a massive massive enhancement in not only volume but also clarity at lower volumes as well as higher volumes but it's just going to sound absolutely fantastic and these systems the reason why we do so many of these lamborghini aventadors or lamborghinis is because they we get them sounding exactly how they should have done when they came out of the factory they sound absolutely insane so we're all wrapped up on today's video. Batman's car is fully underway, completely stripped out. As you've seen in today's video, we've involved dashboard removal, but also discussed soundproofing and a bit more detail into where we're up to. However, as you know, there's plenty of more work to get cracking on with. The team are working hard to meet the deadline that we've got on this build, but it's gonna be absolutely fantastic when it is all done, and it's gonna sound absolutely awesome as well. So obviously, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed another episode on Behind the sound we're trying to put more and more content out we do a new video every single day on youtube so make sure you guys at home hit that subscribe button below and remember guys we're giving away a brand new playstation 5 as well as an audison prima amplifier as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on youtube so please share our videos with friends family and everyone at home thank you very much for watching guys we look forward to seeing you soon